Heat transfer is an operation that occurs repeatedly in food industry. Whether it is called cooking, baking, drying, sterilizing or freezing, heat transfer is part of the processing of almost every food. An understanding of the principles that govern heat transfer is essential to an understanding of food processing. Heating and cooling of food products is necessary to prevent microbial and enzymatic degradation. In addition, desired sensorial properties like color, flavor, texture are imparted to foods when they are heated or cooled. Heat transfer is a dynamic process in which heat is transferred spontaneously from one body to another cooler body. Heat transfer can be transferred in three ways by conduction, by convection, and by radiation. In conduction, the molecular energy is directly exchanged from the hotter to cooler regions. The molecules with greater energy communicating some of this energy to neighboring molecules with less energy. An example of conduction is the heating of raw meat which is in contact with the surface of heated pan. Convection is a transfer of heat by the movement of groups of molecules in a fluid. The groups of molecules may be moved by either density changes or by forced motion of the fluid. An example of convection is cooking or boiling an egg in a boiling water. Radiation is a transfer of heat energy by electromagnetic waves which transfer heat from one body to another in the same way as electromagnetic light waves transfer light energy. An example of radiation heat transfer is the heating of food items in a microwave oven. In general, conduction is the heat transfer through stationary matter by physical contact. Convection is the heat transfer by the macroscopic movement of fluid. Radiation is the heat transfer which occurs when microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light or other electromagnetic radiation is emitted or absorbed. In practice, the three types of heat transfer may occur together. We use all these type of heat transfer methods in our day-to-day -day life. So next time if you are cooking or heating or watching any heat transfer process, try to analyze which type of heat transfer method is used for it. If you found this video helpful, like this video and share this information to your friends. For more content, subscribe to our channel Futech360. Thank you.